All right, Ray, a lot of people trying to dry out. I know my neighbor, her Mustang got flooded with all of that rain in the South Hills, and she needs a couple days of sunshine in order to dry her back seat. Dry the back seat. Well, we'll dry the back seat tonight and tomorrow, Sunday. Make sure you close the windows on everything because number one, we're going to be seeing some showers and thunderstorms. Number two, there is going to be a warm up. So if you have air conditioning, you want to make sure you don't let your house warm up and then try to cool it down. You want to maintain here. But right now we have a nice setup, 64 comfortable degrees in Pittsburgh, Greensburg, Indiana at 63, 62 in uh, Katanning, some 50s up to the north. So once you get to Beaver Falls and Newcastle, Butler, Franklin, we're talking 50s, mid 60s, Washington and Waynesburg and still 71 degrees down in Morgantown. Dew points, those have been dropping. We have been pretty steamy here the past few days, and right now we have most of our dew points well within the comfortable range. Anytime you have dew points in the 40s and 50s, humidity is the last thing you're worrying about. Still just at the point where you may feel it if you're real sensitive to the humidity in Morgantown, but most of these dew points are fantastic. A little haze, though, as we're looking off the top of Gateway Center towards Heinz Field, and that tells us that there could be a little fog trying to develop later on tonight. Now, even though our dew points are dropping, when your dew points and temperatures are close together, like we're expecting tomorrow morning, you could see some patchy areas of fog trying to develop. But it should be very comfortable tomorrow dew point wise. And then into Sunday, we spike that back up and stay in the muggy to extremely humid range right through the middle of next week. And honestly, it's looking like until the end of next week. So tonight we drop down to the mid 50s. In most cases, it's going to be a cooler, more comfortable night. And tomorrow's going to be a rather comfortable day. While our temperatures will make it to the upper 70s in most cases. We are expecting the humidity to stay low, and this is a few degrees shy of what we would consider average for this time of year. A normal temperature is 83 degrees. We're getting to 79. 83 though on Sunday, so back to normal there, but the humidity climbs up, so it'll feel warmer than that. And then we get these mid to upper 80s through much of next week. And with the heat and humidity, we're going to see an unsettled weather pattern. And that's a fancy way to say it's going to start raining and we're going to see some thunderstorms popping up. Not an issue for us tonight. We have the clear skies, but through the weekend, just know tomorrow is the best day of both weekend days. We'll get a few clouds mixing in throughout the course of it. More and more clouds into the afternoon and evening, and this is out ahead of a warm front that will lift across the region, and this is going to touch off some showers and thunderstorms for Sunday, especially during the afternoon and evening, and we're going to get additional waves of this rain and thunderstorm action trying to come in at different times next week, mainly during the warmest parts of the day. Tonight, 56 comfortable degrees, clearing skies, and some areas of patchy fog. Come tomorrow, clouds come back. We'll start it off with sunshine and clouds and more clouds will mix in through the day. Humidity staying low, upper 70s for your high temperature. You can see how this works out early on. It's the brightest part of the forecast. We're expecting it to be a pretty dry setup tomorrow. So noontime, mostly cloudy skies and 4 p.m. still mostly cloudy. But over the next seven days, we're going to start seeing better chances for rain returning to the forecast. So scattered storm Sunday, scattered thunderstorms Monday, just isolated activity on Tuesday, Wednesday, scattered storms again. Temperatures back to about 80 degrees there and then the mid to upper 80s both Thursday and Friday with a few more showers and thunderstorms and after tomorrow the rest of the forecast is looking muggy. You can see how muggy it is before you step outside with the KDK weather app. It gives you current conditions. Plus, if there's heavy rain or thunderstorms popping up nearby, it'll let you know about that. Plus all the severe weather alerts for bad weather when that gets even closer. So search for this app in the App Store or Google Play by searching CBS Pittsburgh.